I do hereby declare that Green Sarah Louise of the Liberal Democrat Party is duly elected. Tonight, the voice of Cheshire and Amersham is unmistakable. Together, we have said, enough is enough, we will be heard, and this government will listen. This Conservative Party has taken people across our country for granted for far too long. We will continue the work of holding this government to account for letting COVID rip through the care homes. We will speak up, speak up for the three million people excluded from financial support throughout the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And we will challenge Boris Johnson to be far more ambitious in tackling climate change, supporting our frontline workers and backing our small businesses. The Liberal Democrats will ensure that they will be held accountable and they will be scrutinised. Well, clearly this was a very disappointing result, not, not the result that uh, I was expecting, not, nor my team. Um, I congratulate the Liberal Democrat candidate on, on her victory, and uh, I hope that she finds the best possible way to serve the constituents to which she has promised so much. It's an absolutely extraordinary result. And while planning was a big issue, the environment more broadly, and they know that Liberal Democrats are a strong environmental party, um, there was some concern about Boris Johnson. They do feel that, uh, you know, he's listening to the people who are giving the Conservative Party money, uh, that there's this cronyism about it, uh, not just with respect to the contracts during the COVID for the PPE and so on, but the fact that they've taken a lot of money, Conservatives have taken a lot of money from developers. And so there is some concern that this Boris Johnson government uh, isn't listening and you know, it may even be corrupt in, in, in some ways. Uh, and therefore, um, I, I think this isn't just about Chesham and Amersham, vital though this is for the local people. I think this Liberal Democrat win is about m many other places in the country. And yes, you're right, the Conservatives are do, doing well in the polls. But what I think this shows is that lead is fragile. And the Liberal Democrats are the ones, certainly in the south of England, in places like this, in, in Oxfordshire, Cambridgeshire, Hertfordshire, Surrey, and Wiltshire and so on, Liberal Democrats are the party who can beat the Conservatives. You know, we're in second place to many Conservative MPs, and I think our, our message of being on, on people's side, standing up for communities, being strong on the environment, arguing for a fairer, greener, more caring society, I think that message will be heard, and I think this fragile leader of the, Conserv of the Conservative Party uh, ca ca can be beaten. I think they can be beaten, particularly by Liberal Democrats in seats like this.